My lord, Morphricus, I'm recruiting the Empire's most powerful warriors for the final push in the war. We call it Operation Dark Ice. Your reputation precedes you. Do we have your support? What incentive do I have to help? The Empire always remembers its loyal servants. I'm sending the coordinates for the planet Ilum. It used to be a frozen wasteland only a few Jedi bothered with. But a few weeks ago, Imperial scientists discovered a way to turn Adegan lightsaber crystals into the most significant breakthrough in military technology since the hyperdrive. Let me guess. These Adegan lightsaber crystals can only be found on Ilum. Ilum is the biggest supply, and our scientists have had more success with Ilum's crystals than any other kind. The Empire won on Corellia, but it was costly. We're outnumbered. We need the technological edge. We need Ilum's crystals. But as usual, the Republic's intent on interfering. So, you need me to crack some skulls while you handle the boring stuff. You could say that. Ilum's a nasty place. Cold as hoth, covered in ice and mountainous terrain. Makes moving large armies impossible. I hope to see you soon. I see three floors, Major. You split your forces, you're vulnerable in the air, and you take our enemy for idiots. You think that Jedi isn't expecting this? Out! Yes, sir. My lord, thank you for coming. If it weren't for the Sith, the Empire would collapse all around us. Spare me the flattery. We'll get right to business then. Adegan crystals. Imperial scientists can now transform these glitzy bits of rock into the most powerful stealth technology in the galaxy. We want every ship in the Imperial Armada fitted with this tech. An unstoppable stealth armada. I take it you run into trouble, or you wouldn't have called me. To succeed, we need two things. To control Ilum's crystal supply, and to bring our fleet safely to Ilum for modification. Ilum's no place for a war. Narrow passages, sharp jutting rocks, and the coldest wind you ever felt. But that Republic Admiral wants a war. He sent Jedi Master Jeric Caden to lead the Republic's elite alien armies on the ground. Caden's pinned us in. If they want a war, we'll give it to them. How do you plan to counter Master Caden? I plan to kill him. The Jedi think of Ilum as their planet. Only two of them were here when we arrived. But they have ruins scattered around the place. The ruins housing Master Caden's base are too small for anything but a strike team. And they're surrounded by cliffs full of Duras shock troopers. It sounds like this Jedi is defenseless without his shock troopers. No Jedi is really defenseless, but the shock troopers are key. Our only chance is to lure the Duras shock troopers into the open where they're vulnerable. I've established fake supply depots between here and the ruins. Master Caden is over-aggressive. He's already mobilized the shock troopers to capture the depots, clean out the duros at the supply depots, and then assault the ruins base. Is there trouble, Master Caden? No, Admiral. My guests have simply arrived sooner than expected. Rest assured this war can only end one way. Who is that you're talking to? No one you'll live to meet. You are on Jedi land, and I'm only gonna ask once for you to leave. The Sith take what the Jedi are too weak to keep. I knew darkness obscured the vision, but I never imagined anyone could be so blind. The crystals your empire hopes to turn into a weapon of mass murder are visible signs of an invisible truth. 
but force. A Jedi does not kill until forced. I would sooner kill every Imperial on Ilum than allow these crystals to be desecrated. Then you'll die for something you believe in. One with the Force, I will be even stronger. Troopers, join me for the Republic! 